Hi, I'm Mark with Western Timber Frame, and we're up here in Layton today. We're at a homeowners association at their pool house and club area. We're going to install one of our pavilion kits. Uh, when they contacted us here at Western Timber Frame, one of the problems they had was this was an area that is used a lot throughout the summer, um, but not everyone likes to be out in the sun all day long. Uh, our pavilion structure will accomplish a few things for them. It'll give them shade to get out of the sun. It'll, it's a, it's a rain tight roof so they can get out of a storm for a minute as it blows through. It'll also give them an area that they can eat and, and enjoy a lunch or a dinner while they're here at the pool. Um, so we're gonna install one of our pavilion kits here today and we'll see how that goes. One of the issues we ran into when we started this project was a health code issue. You can't have a designated eating area within 10 feet of a swimming pool. So the homeowners association decided to move the pavilion structure to the northwest corner of the swimming pool. They moved some fence and some shrubbery to accommodate this area, um, which worked out really well for them. They were able to get a larger pavilion kit, which gives them more seating area and stay away from the swimming pool. Um, this pavilion is a six post structure. It actually is stained in our rich Cordoba and it's a gable structure. It also has a one by six tongue and groove for a substrate on the roof that gives it a finished look from underneath. This uh, pavilion also is kind of unique. We normally don't have railing on a pavilion, but this will have railing on the east side, which uh, will separate and designate that area that is for eating from the swimming pool area.
with this project that uh, we're working on now, this pavilion, um, we have a design manager that comes out uh, on site. They get the drawings, uh, they measure it up on site to bring it back to the shop. We then have our architects are able to put it into our 3D program. And uh, once they get it up, they're able to um, find out if there's any uh, defects in the drawings, uh, make sure everything's going to work out properly, the dimensions wise, and uh, also give a color uh, 3D rendering for the homeowner or the client to uh, approve. Um, once it's approved, then we're able to convert these into shop drawings. And from here, then it goes out to our uh, manufacturing facility.